Yo, what's up with y'all? It's JD Travel Stenix, and I'm back with another quick video. In today's video, we're going to be chopping it up about if men and women can be platonic friends. Now, before we get into the video, if you're interested in travel, fitness, overall growth content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can get updated every time I drop new content. But let's get back into the topic. Can men and women be platonic friends? I think first and foremost, we have to kind of examine what exactly goes into friendships and does that work between men and women. What I usually think that you're drawn to a platonic friend for uh, as far as like say for instance me and some of my closest homeboys is mostly commonalities, uh, similar mindsets and I would say eventually down the line what you end up doing with your friends is you end up confiding in your friends, uh, you end up building a trust factor with your friends and also there's a certain level of give and take uh, you might provide you know some level of support for somebody or maybe you can do something for somebody it's always a, a little bit of compromise involved in friendship and off the bat when I think of it like that most of the time when you're dealing with a woman most thing that attracts you to a woman is off the bat it's gonna be the physical it's gonna be her looks it's going to be a sexual attraction and vice versa. That's the same thing for women. It's usually going to be some type of a sexual attraction that she has towards you or a physical attraction. Or for women, it even goes into a, a lot of times a mental attraction that they might have towards you. And sometimes that mental attraction is even stronger than the physical attraction that they might have towards you. They just might like your character in general. But with that being said, I don't think that men and women can be platonic friends and a lot of times what it does is when people try to be platonic friends with a woman or a woman tries to be platonic friends with a man, a lot of time it builds a lot of confusion in that relationship and let's just say for instance that both of these people are in relationships, it's definitely going to create a lot of confusion in their romantic relationships that they actually have because I can tell from, I can tell you guys from my experience that Every single time I've built a friendship with a female, it's always been some type of physical attraction on one end or the other. Either the woman was very physically attracted to me or I was physically attracted to her and that's what drew me to her and vice versa. That might have been what drew the woman to me. A lot of times uh, these relationships or these quote unquote friendships can start at places like work, at school, different places like that because more than likely that's usually where you're going to meet these quote unquote female friends because most of the time let's just say you meet a woman at the gym it's normally going to be on some you're hitting on her you know what I mean or you're trying to see what's up and that's usually how that works or if you just meet a woman approaching her at a club or at a bar in the street or even on like a dating app or whatever it may be these are all things that are just dead giveaways that it was a physical attraction to begin with so for me personally I always say there's uh no such thing as platonic friends between men and women and with that being said when it comes down to you being in a relationship with a woman i am a firm believer that you need to let the woman know off bat off the top that you don't tolerate women in your life that want to have platonic male friends and that's going to save you a lot of problems throughout your relationships for me personally i've never liked women that I've been dating to have platonic male friends. And sometimes in my earlier, um, like in my earlier 20s or in my 20s, a lot of times I would let it slide and what it would do, it would end up destroying the relationship. It would always be detrimental to the relationship because women having a male friend, number one, that's just basically her having some dick on the side, on reserve for whenever you fuck up. And then number two, it just causes jealousy and confusion in a relationship because then you as a man are thinking to yourself, why is my girl, why does my, if, if my girl wants some type of masculine company, she should be getting that masculine company from me. If she needs masculine energy, she gets that masculine energy from me. She doesn't need to get that from somebody else. Now, if she wants to confide, confide in somebody and she wants to talk to somebody about her problems, she can do that with her female friends or she can do that with her family members, but she damn sure doesn't need to be doing that with another man. You know what I'm saying? Because when you start getting into intimate details of your life and sharing intimate details of and sharing intimate details of your life with another person, especially of the opposite sex, it makes you guys closer. You know what I'm saying? So if she's sharing intimate details about your relationship or just herself in general with another man, 
and he's sharing intimate details about himself with your woman, and eventually that intimacy is going to lead to attraction, and eventually that attraction is going to lead to some type of uh, sexual connection, physical connection, I say. But yeah, so that's a no-no, especially when it comes down to these women who you might meet, and then she says that most of her friends are dudes, and that most of her friends, she doesn't like kicking it with females because females are too chatty or gossipy or all this other little type of stuff. Them type of women are trash, straight up. And uh, if you're dealing with one of them women, I'm not saying that you need to leave her right away, or I'm not saying that you need to uh, even break up with her, but I wouldn't take that serious at all. Those type of women don't even take themselves serious, so why would you take them serious? And that's the same thing with women that say they have platonic friends that are men. Um, I would definitely put them on the back burner. I wouldn't take them too serious until they straighten up and fly right, as my pops would say. And uh, also when it comes down to the platonic friend thing, you know, a lot of times, you, most, most of these women in this society are all going to think that it's okay for men and women to uh, be friends. Because... Women in this society have been brought up to believe that no matter what they do, it's okay. There's no real consequences for their actions. So they can just go about life as they please and do whatever they want to do and everybody's supposed to accept it. But a real man is not going to accept a woman telling him that she has another man who's her friend. And uh, it's just going to create confusion. And a lot of times what women will say is like, oh, well, I'm not even attracted to him. If you look at him, he's not even that good. First off, how do I know what you find is attractive anyways? You know what I mean? So I don't put anything past these women. I'm a dude who's in great shape, but that's not to say that before that the girl was messing with me, she wasn't messing with a dude who wasn't in good shape. So if you was messing with a dude who wasn't in good shape before, shit, you might mess with another, you might cheat on me with a dude who's not in good shape. So these are all things you have to think about. Don't ever think just because you might look at a dude, you might size him up and be like, oh, no, nah, I'm better than him. Nah, that dude might be smashing your girl behind your back. Straight up. You know what I mean? Don't ever put anything past any of these women, especially the ones that claim to think that they can have platonic friends. Because if you literally sit down with your woman, if she says that she has friends that are men, and you ask them the details about all these relationships that she has that are quote-unquote guy friends, I guarantee you 99.9% .9 of the time, either she's let the dude smash or she has some type of romantic interest with the dude or some type of physical connection with the dude or the dude has a crush on her and she just wasn't really giving him any play these are all things man these dudes a lot of these dudes they don't mind going in a friend zone because they just try to basically soften a soften a girl up and soften a girl up until a girl finally gives in that's what you call a wolf in sheep's clothing you know what i mean these type of dudes, you know what I mean? You got to be careful for them. They, 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 they predators. They bottom feeders. They what you call uh, uh, what do you call them? Vultures. They just fly around, fly around until they see something that's that's weak and, or dead, and then they go and pick up they scavengers. You know what I mean? And that's what a lot of these dudes who kick it around females are. Is they don't mind going in. They don't mind creeping in the back door. They don't really have any real game per se. So. They got to get in through the friend route. They can't just be up front with a broad and tell them, hey, look, I'm feeling you. I'm trying to do something. What's up with it? You know what I mean? And being straight up with the girl. They come in and they creep in through the friend route and they don't mind smashing another man's woman or another man's wife or whatever it may be because they don't really have any morals and they don't really have any confidence in themselves. That's the reason why they go in the friend route anyways. But at the end of the day, all I'm saying is that women and men cannot be platonic friends. And if your girl is telling you that she has platonic male friends, you need to investigate those friendships because I guarantee you that those male friends are up to no good. They don't have good intentions. And your girl might not have good intentions either. And a lot of these women, they think that they're making the right decision in terms of keeping male friends. Look, most women in this society are terrible decision makers. So when it comes down to making decisions, they all make bad decisions. And if you leave it up to themselves, if you leave their life up to themselves, they'll lead themselves to the pathway of destruction. So a lot of times you have to save these women from themselves anyway. That's the reason why you're supposed to have a program and your girl is supposed to get down with your program. You don't get down with a woman's program. That's just not the way it goes. Point blank, 
period. You don't get down with a woman's program. Because if you get down with a woman's program and you follow behind a woman, that woman is going to lead you to destruction straight up and down. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know what I mean? You could just think about it in terms of uh, go back to your childhood. Just think about the decisions that the women in your life made through your childhood versus the, the decisions that the men made in your in your childhood. Men's decision making is usually based on logic and women's decision making is usually made based on emotion. And emotion is never going to get you in the right place, especially when you're over overly emotional. But anyways, guys, chime in in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this topic. Men and women, in my opinion, cannot be platonic friends, and that's something I feel extremely strong about. When you start, when you start a relationship, you got to draw that line in the sand with your woman and let her know that look, you're not going to be having any dudes hanging out and just you know hanging, hovering around you like that. That's just not the way it gets gets down in this relationship. And if you let them know that from front from the jump street, then you'll nip a huge problem in the bud because I guarantee you if you let that problem linger, it's going to be what destroys your relationship in the long run. And if you allow your woman to be around a bunch of men, then there's nothing but bad things that can come come from that. Uh and also another thing I say about that is you need to tell your woman straight up. It's like, look, and she might even try to introduce you to some of her guy friends. You need to tell her, look, look, I don't want any, any more dudes involved in my life. I got my, my closest homeboys. I got my pops. I got my uncles or whoever it may be, my grandfather, whatever it may be. And I got my brother or my brothers or whatever it may be. I don't need any more dude friends. And I damn sure don't, you don't need no more dude. You don't need any dude friends, period. So that's the way that works. And uh, if she has a problem with it, man, you tell the girl. This is what I always tell women in terms of when I'm dealing with women on a romantic uh, level, I tell them like this. Hey, look, I don't own you and I can't tell you what decisions you need to make in your life. But I will tell you this, that uh, you can do whatever you want. But if you do certain things, you're going to have to do those things without me in your life. You know what I mean? So if you want to have male friends, that's fine. You can go ahead and do that. But you're going to do that, and you're going to do that on your own because me and you aren't going to be involved with each other anymore if you want to have male friends. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys agree, let me know in the comment section as well. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, leave, it, uh, leave that in the comment section as well. I'm pretty sure if any females are watching this video, they're not going to like what I have to say. But that's all good. You can leave that in the comment section. Also, you can give my video a thumbs down. But anyways, guys, uh, my channel is basically all about personal growth and self-improvement and being able to deal with your relationships and being able to uh, nip a lot of problems in the bud is a part of self-improvement. It's a part of personal growth and in terms of growing in how to deal with your relationships. So uh, that's one thing that I really, really want to hammer home. That's one thing I really, really want to hammer home with on this channel. And I really want to emphasize and is the self-improvement aspect on the mental level, on the physical level, and just on the financial level all the way around. We should be self-improving every way around and we should be getting our game tight, sharpening our tools up. So make sure that your tools are sharpened so people can't take advantage of you because in 2020, these women is looking to take, care, take advantage of you. And a lot of these women and a lot of these people in general right now are just straight up predatorial. They're looking to see what they can get from you. They're looking to see how they can use you, period. Anyways, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. I don't want to ramble on too long. I'll holler at you later.